How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today, we're going to be looking at the Hyperclack Tactile Mechanical Keyboard. Now, I got this to replace my daily driver, which is a uh, Razer keyboard with cherry switches, I believe. But it's been kind of going out lately, and when I type something, it kind of just doesn't finish some of the last letters of a word. So I saw this at a retro store, and I was thinking, wow, this really makes me feel retro console. It is... It is just, the theme of it is beautiful. I love the old grays and the purples and the blacks. And it is a USB keyboard for gaming. So I thought, wow, this is just a perfect option for me right now since I'm in the market. So it is PC compatible via wired USB. Customizable with Cherry MX compatible keycaps. Case accent light can be turned on or off via FN F12. And what is that? And I think this says goat blue tactile switches. All right, let's go ahead and look at the side. And let's rotate it and look at the back. It kind of gives you the same information that you got on the front and then a kind of white and black outlined diagram of what the keyboard looks like. Let's go ahead and rotate this down. And it has a clamshell closed box. So let's go ahead and open that up and slide this out. And now let's flip it around. Sliding the box open, we are immediately greeted with, to avoid danger of suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Beautiful. <laughs> and let's slide the protective baby killer out of the way. Looks like the wire is attached inside of here. There we go. And we have a little card right here, which we'll check out in a minute. And we're just going to slide off this and move it to the side. And wow, guys. This is a great weight. It is weighted very well. I really like this. Let's see how these switches sound, because that is what I was most concerned about, because I have played FPS at games like Overwatch and a lot of other games, and if the clickies and the feel of it doesn't feel good, it makes me really nervous and uh, doesn't just it doesn't feel right to me. Let's see. Oh yeah. That is exactly the way I wanted it to feel. One thing that I just noticed, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. If you can see, I'm gonna have to zoom in quite a bit and adjust my lighting. The underside of this, man, you really can't see unless we, there we go. It is a red motherboard at the bottom just really accents the purples and blacks. Look at that. That is beautiful. So what's really nice about this keyboard is, first of all, the color scheme. It does have a light bar at the bottom, and I'll plug it into just like a standard power outlet so we can see that. But it has a number pad, and as someone who worked in retail on a register and got really used to using these, I cannot use a keyboard without having a number pad anymore. I have a friend who, his keyboard kind of ends right here, and I don't know how how he manages to uh, use that. Um, one thing I did notice that bugs me a little bit, and it might just be because, I don't know, I'm particular, but some of the keys are a little uh, crooked, I guess. Maybe the ones down here have a little bit of a wobble to them, but they do move back. They might kind of set more when you use them a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if they'll... Yeah, they seem to straighten out when you, you press down on it. Yeah, they all straighten out when you press down on it. So when it's used and maybe, you know, not being held up at a certain direction, it will, you know, work a little bit better. But let's go ahead and plug this in and see what the lighting looks like on this. 
Okay, I now plugged it in to some power. And as you can see right here, it does light up on the front. Unfortunately, it doesn't light up on the keys, which is gonna be different for me because usually I have backlit keys. Um, I would have liked this to be more of a solid color where you couldn't see the individual LEDs. Um, it's fine. There is one right here that's bleeding a little bit through the white. Um, it's red though, so I wonder if that's for something different. Let's turn the lamp down a little bit and see if it looks a little bit better with it darker. So this is what the keyboard looks like when the lights are down. All right, let's go ahead and press Fn plus F12. Doesn't seem to turn the light off and on, but I'm not connected to a computer. I just have it plugged into a five volt USB just to get the lights to turn on. And that honestly might be why it's not as bright as it should be. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know in the comments if it was just me being dumb and not plugging it into my PC, but I do like the light. It is nice, and I think that the keys themselves are really the most important thing. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a typing test. Before we do that, though, I would like to say they do have pegs right here to level it up. Um, they even have a larger one right here, so if you do this, you can have your keyboard higher up, which I personally cannot use a keyboard that is completely flat. I don't know, my wrists just, it doesn't agree. So I'm gonna type a little bit and you guys are probably gonna be like, what is he doing? I don't understand. I taught myself how to type and I was homeschooled. So I never learned how to type the right way. So I only use two fingers to type or two or three fingers to type and I don't do it the right way. But I type about 45 words per minute, which is considered normal slash average uh, for most people. So I haven't really thought of doing anything else given the fact that I don't do it for work so it doesn't really bother me too much if I'm messaging someone on messenger or discord but I thought I'd just let you know if it looks a little weird so if I type oh well what's up guys this is JHR and we are doing a video today about a keyboard I got at a retro store period that sounds really good and it feels good the biggest thing for me is how fast the mechanical key presses back when i let go of it it really makes me feel like when i'm playing like overwatch or things like that that it it kind of has that reactiveness to it and the space bar feels good too so all in all i really 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 like this keyboard and i'm satisfied with it it says one year uh, warranty, so I am hoping that it doesn't uh, break because um, I am not like familiar with the brand Hyperkin. Um, I know they make like a lot of like new retro consoles that can use like old games or like emulated stuff. Um, and I see their products all over retro stores, so they're around. So I'm thinking that it probably is a decent brand but we'll just have to see. Time will tell. Keyboards for gamers probably take the most abuse and get the dirtiest, so keeping this looking good is going to be a, a challenge to say the least, but I'm looking forward to using it and just having a good time playing games. What do you guys think about the keyboard? Let me know in a comment below. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a like. If you haven't already subscribed and you kind of just didn't notice, hit that subscribe button. It really helps boost the algorithm and it shows me that you guys want me to make videos. Again, if this is the first time you're seeing me in a while, I just came out of retirement from making videos for almost two years and I'm really happy to be back. Um, again, I've listened to all of your guys' messages and I'm just happy to be back again. Uh, look forward to new videos. I'm not sure how often I'm going to upload, but I'm going to be uploading probably at least once a week to once every other week. And if I'm really feeling it, I might upload every other day to every day, depending on how I'm feeling. So, all right. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next video.